Yo, what is going on, Nitro Sites? It is your boy, the Nitro General, here back at it again for another episode of our Pokemon Insurgents playthrough. If you guys are excited for this and you want to show some support, make sure you hit that like button down below. <coughs> Subscribe if you guys are new and help me hit my end of next year's goal <coughs> of 350 subscribers. All right? If you guys want to help me with that, you can hit that like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. Other than that, guys, uh, let's get right into it. So, in the last episode, guys, we picked up a couple more members of the team. Uh, obviously, we picked up Zingy, the Delta Gardevoir that took place of Sir Stomps. Unfortunately, we met its small house. It's kind of funny. funny. It's got clear body. It's got a uh, attack-boosting nature, which isn't phenomenal, but... Um, it's rocking with Nuzzle, Ice Shard, Shockwave, and Double Team. And then we got our, uh, Krakatoa here, who's gonna be evolving somewhat soon in, like, another level. Um, who's rocking with, uh, did we ever even check to see what his, uh, uh, his Impish nature is not great. But, uh, we also did not check his EVs and IVs, but, I mean, it's not bad. But, uh, I, I'm actually, as much as I like Ziggy right now, I think I am gonna put Krakatoa in the front so we can get him... As much XP as we can so he'll evolve. And then we'll have Ziggy in the front. But luckily everybody is on par. So everybody can, you know, actually be doing stuff. So let's go down here. If I remember right. I wonder if that Fero ever respawns or not. That is just such a weird, weird thing to just have a random Fero that you battle and doesn't... Dude, will you get out of my way? I'm trying to serve, man. You don't, you don't even like water, my guy. Alright, so we'll have to go down here now. I'm get, at least I'm guessing. Wingle! Man, I've used Wingle enough times. I would never do it on a fan game. There's nothing else in this grass that really is any of any importance. There is Mencino, and if you guys have been watching the channel for any amount of time, you guys know that one of my favorite Pokemon of all time is Cincino. I love Cincino. It's such an awesome Pokemon. I love its design. I think it's adorable. Uh, it is top 10 favorite Pokemon of all time for me. Can we battle you? Okay, yeah. Come here, battle me. Uh, give me... Uh, you're a sailor, though. So you're going to have water types, but... Yeah, so unfortunately Krakatoa isn't going to be doing anything here. But... This is perfect, guys. We can actually go into our fresh Delta Gardevoir and be able to do some massive damage. Hell yeah. Toxic Spikes. That's phenomenal. That's definitely not what I wanted to see. But we'll hit this thing with a powerful Shockwave. And it's gone. We gotta turn movie animations back on. Uh, cause I turned them off at the end of last episode as we were, uh, trading up. I, I am so sorry I've went this long without having them on. Ooh, crunch. But it's not oh wait, I'm not a I'm not a psychic type anymore. I am a ice electric type. English, man. Spit it out, Nitro G. Alright. Alright, so let's turn move animations back on. Alright. A battle scene. Wait. They were on. Uh, are those difficulties? Um, wait, let's actually turn this to constant daytime. I think that might be better. Uh, what's happening here? Um, can I turn this thing to constant daytime, or am I gonna have to like? Restart the whole game. So, battle scene is on. Um. Which is weird. Because none of the moves are. Alright, yeah, let's. Ah, okay. Now, the game will look much better now that it's constant daytime. Because most of the time when I record it's night. Alright, we're in Vic Pick City. I think this is actually the destination of another gym. Which is kind of cool. Um, we actually might be doing in this, this episode, you know, we haven't really done too much, so, if there's any story things that we gotta do before, maybe we won't be able to, but, uh, yeah, uh, let's see, alright, anything worth buying up here? Dude, you are a blue guy. 
Alright, what about you? Clothes shop. I don't want to buy any clothes. Look, I'm conserving all the money I can to be actually be doing other stuff. Um, I, I'm really not going to... Does say I hate customers with a passion? Same. Same. You are... Name Raider. Um, most of these people up here, I don't really think they really give you anything. We can't go. Oh yeah, we can't go up here. Um, Xavier's he comes from Xavier. Oh, Xavier's that like younger boy, right? Oh, welcome to the hair salon. Uh, yeah, no. Oh, god damn it. No, oh, man. did I? Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Give me, give me my hair back. Give me my hair back. Give me my hair back. Uh, yes, give me my hair back. God damn it. Ah, uh, God, that. I don't like that. You just took away my hair. That's my pride and joy, man. Uh, he, wait, he does have ins insurance against fire types. Of course. Oh, is he? All oh, right, this is the guy that's like forest typing. So, I don't really think there's anything I really want right now. Um, I think we're pretty good. I do, I don't really think, this is why I really want to get the secure Typhlosion, because he'll be amazing at this, in this gym battle. But, we're going to go around and, uh, and talk to some of the people and see if we can get any cool items or any Pokemon or whatever. Trade Pokemon. Sneasel for a Floet. Nah. Trust me, it's a good trade, man. Look, I already have two ice types on my team. Why would I want to do that? And also, it's like... My favorite Pokemon? Uh, it's Blaziken. Yep, Blaziken in my lot of top two favorite Pokemon. Uh, this better not be a waste of my time. Cleanse Tag. That helps keep Pokemon away, right? If I remember right. What do you got, Grandma? Oh, Grandma. Helios Reader. Alright. Speaking of why is Dark Egg dark, dark type? Should it be a ghost type? Yeah, yeah, you and me both are wondering that. Oh. No. I mean, we'll keep that in mind in the future so if we want to hatch an egg faster, but honestly. Does that mean that there's an egg we can get in this in this town? Yeah, 151, the old Pokemon. Back in my day, there was only 101, 151. Imagine just like Pokemon, new Pokemon just pop up out of nowhere. So it's like when you were when you were young, there was actually only 151 that existed in total. That would be kind of crazy. <laughs> All right, catch up you. Yeah. Garbage around the city. I mean, that just sounds like my town. <laughs> Where I live. Man, I'm not going up there. I don't know what is up there. Oh, wait. Actually, that's the garbage dump. I think we have to defeat some people up there. Oh, so there is a gym up there in there, so. Yeah. I mean... I'm not going to transfer garbage. I'll stick with my job. Thank you very much. What's up, little boy? I just walked upstairs to your room. Uh, bucket extra 25 or more and you'll give me a good rod? I don't think I have 25 or more Pokemon in my Pokedex, but I'll keep that in mind because good rod extra might cover it. Uh, code handy. Hey, come back here. Come on, man. All right. Um, I don't know why you guys aren't going to let me go down there. What do you got, man? You look like you'll give me something. Heavy Ball. He did actually give me something. That's kind of cool. Oh, look at the... What the fudge? Oh, it, fudge. It's a Nudo... Or it's a Slowking. I thought it was a Deli Bird when I first came up here. And then I was like, wait a minute. That's not a Deli Bird. That looks a lot different than a deli bird. You live in a bomb of snow? Uh, 
I mean, I'll definitely beat the Elite Four someday. I'll tell you what, if you give me... Um, nah, man. I mean, we'll look it... I mean, I'll look it up. Let me just look up and see what's in it. Um... And see if it's even worth it. Um... Alright, it's Tojipi. Okay, yeah, there's only like... Yeah, yeah, I don't... We, we definitely don't need... I'm not paying two two $2,500 for a Togepi. I mean, honestly, there's really no sense in it. Because I wouldn't use it. I mean, Togekiss is a good Pokemon, but... Oh, there's hit grottos in this. Why are you just... What? What kind of Pokemon is it? Alright. I think we might have got... I think we might have, like, talked to everybody in this town. Yeah. Alright, so I think we, we gotta go up into, like, the, the dump place. <coughs> and, uh, see, I think there's a gym up there. Um... But I don't know if we have to take on the, the evil team now or later. Oh wait, this is just three, four. Oh, okay. Also, I do want to... I bet you you'll be able to catch Trubbish up there in the, in the garbage thing. If you can't catch Trubbish, then I, that will be a waste of everything, right? Because there's Pokemon all the way up. Wait, can I not get up there? Go back when I'm old. Man, come on, bro. Alright, then where do I go? Up here. Hey, look at that. Hey, Nitrogen, are you here to take out the Big Pick City gym? So am I. I'm just getting ready. I mean, I'm sure Nora won't have much trouble. Knowing her chosen. There's a dude behind you. Uh, <laughs> you know, chosen by me and Celebi and all. Excuse me. Pardon my interruption, but did I hear one of you two mention you? Um, no, of course not. We would, uh, no, we didn't. My apologies. Then I'll be on my way. Will you shut up, dude? Well, that was close. Nobody's supposed to know about that, remember? Yeah, but you're out here blabbing out the, the mouth to everybody, dude. Nora said there was a prophecy or something. Anyways, good luck on the gym. I'm gonna train for a bit, then take it on myself. Man, you suck, dude. Okay, we should be okay just to like take out the gym. No, oh, why would I want to crawl into a tree? Will you give me a? Uh... Okay. Oh, there we go. Give me that fresh water. Give me that fresh water, man. I definitely want that. All right. So we'll do this. Looks like we will take on the gym in this episode. Ah. Uh... Man, we don't. Okay, cool. I wonder if is there encounters in this gym? I mean, not that we really need it, but so we we got a couple. We got a good. We got a good team for this. Uh, for this gym, we re actually we really really do. So this team should not be an issue. Although these are level thirty Pokemon here. Which means we believe that they're going to be vastly over level 30 in the gym. But, honestly, <clears throat> we should be fine. I mean, we might have to, I might have to do some, uh, training off camera after. But, wow, Signal Beam did a lot of damage. Well, I guess it's because of Tail Glow, but... Get me to level 34? I think we evolve now. I think we evolve now. Vavillion? That's fine. I guess I could have went into, uh... Oh my god, that does an absurd amount. Get out of here, dude. I get a faint? Okay. The thing kind of just was like, nah, I'm gonna stay here. Flame charge. No, I, we don't need flame charge because it's not that good. I just send in dust tox. Uh, actually, I think we go. I think we go Ziggy just because. I don't want. I don't think Cracky Show wants to take another hit. 
So we'll go, so he's gonna go zingy. Uh, so Shockwave should be able to do a lot and lot of damage. Yeah, I mean, it, obviously it's just neutral, but oh come on, man! You're gonna oh you, okay? Yeah, bring me into Wisp, my guy. Also, if we could possibly get a Charizard before this gym too. I didn't mean to nuzzle. Wait, why didn't that paralyze it? Oh my god. We aren't going to be able to do um, any... We're not going to be able to get any XP from this stupid dust dog. Wow. We should be getting a Typhlosion here, though. It is... Th it's 36 for Typhlosion, man? Damn. I didn't... Oh, did not... Why would you come in this way and then make me go... I thought we got something wrong. Are there encounters in here? I love how there's just like a like a ton of trees. Is this the? This is not the gym leader, is it? Wait, did we seriously just? Is it seriously just one trainer? Is it seriously just one trainer? Uh, I would. We. Uh, you know what? Let's just take it on. I mean, is there... I'm gonna run around in that grass and see if there's any... It is. It's just one trainer. Are you kidding me, dude? What the hell? That's weird. Um, unless we just went the totally right way. I'm gonna see if there's... There's gotta be encounters in this, in this grass, right? There's gotta be encounters in this grass, right? There's gotta be. Maybe not. Man. I kind of want to get a Typhlosion before we take on this battle. Which is not hard because we only had to get one level. And I think we would be 100%... Uh, like, I think we would just be better off getting a Typhlosion. Um, we may not need it, but it's going to help out immensely. So, um, I think we're better off just trying to get that quickly before we do this, right? I could just use the secret base, but, um, I, we only have to take on, like, one or two Pokemon at all, anyway. Oh. Well, alright, let's go to the secret base. Let's go to the secret base and do it that way. I thought he was closer to level 36 than he was. Right. I just gotta find the basement. Wait, what the hell? Is there no? But it said that you can also, uh, in you know, find your secret base in the basement of any Pokemon Center. But where the hell is the base? Maybe I guess maybe not. I'm not going. Maybe we'll maybe we won't worry about getting him to a Teflosion then, because unfortunately, I mean, the Pika Taxi guy is probably somewhere here. Okay, wait, how much are you charging? <clears throat> Five hundred. Uh. <clears throat> um. We'll go to Mechie Town quickly. We'll go to Mechie Town really quickly and we'll go to our secret base, get you to a Typhlosion, and then take on the gym. Because this because having a Typhlosion So so what is the use of having a Pika Taxi guy in your secret base if you can't actually travel to your secret base? Alright. Alright, um Yeah, alright. Give me to a Typhlosion, then we'll take on the gym. We'll for sure get the, the KO. Uh, or the, the win after doing this. But this just kind of makes it so we we'll get it. And then after the gym, if we should be able to get uh, fight level 30 Audinos, which is really, really awesome. Because um, I believe it goes up after every gym, right? 
because it probably starts off at 10 after the first gym it's 20 and then after the second gym it's 30 so I mean, this will get me to level 36 there we go jump in Ardino all right this will get us to a Typhlosion which is awesome I mean we could also take the time and get the Delta Charizard right now if we wanted to as well I mean we got the time in this episode right I mean it's what like two levels I mean we didn't even get it till <laughs> oh Krakatoa is evolving awesome get us some Typhlosion baby and maybe we'll be better off getting the Charizard I just I really want to see the Delta Charizard because I have not seen it yet so I mean it could be a little bit of a really really cool thing to, to try to do the Krakatoa evolved in Typhlosion awesome I mean, it's just what? Two levels? Two levels. Wouldn't be that hard, would it? I'm not being greedy, am I? Alright. <laughs> I'm not being greedy, you're being greedy. I just want to get a Delta Charizard. I just want a Delta Charizard, man. That's, that's it. Um... I just want to double charge that. I'm sorry. We should be able to, to get to level 36 here. Oh, we got paralyzed. Don't get paralyzed here. Okay, cool. We should be able to just... Um, actually, it might not. Oh, it should, actually. We should, we should be okay. We should be okay. So we should be able to take this thing out two of these. Got paralyzed. I oh, got paralyzed anyway, that's pretty funny. Alright, and get out of here. Give me the Delta Charizard. Grow wings, Wisp. Oh man, this is gonna be awesome. Okay, here we go. Here we go. If it doesn't evolve at level 36, I'm not gonna worry about it. It does. It just does. What? Wisp is evolving. Hell yeah. So we have a team basically full of fully evolved starter Pokemon type flow. Oh dude. Yo! Yo! Dude! That's so awesome! That's dope! Dra Dragon Dance? I'm going to have to say no. I know it might not be that best, but we're a special attacker. So it's like, Dragon Dance is not going to be that better. Oh my god, look at him follow you. He looks so dope. Yo. Heal me up, baby. Oh my god. And if he's in your secret base, it should cost you like 250. <clears throat> and why am I automatically up here? We're, we're just going to come down to Vic Pick City, dude. Alright, let's get going then. All right, cool. All right, um, I'm going to to start off with uh with Krakatoa here. Um, honestly, this team is shaping up to be really awesome. <coughs> we'll just have to see what other Delta Pokemon we can get eventually. Um, and then after we beat the main game, if you guys want to see me like go back and find other Delta Pokemon and evolve them just to check them all out. Let me know because I would be totally fine to... I would be totally down to do that. But, okay. Now that we have a Typhlosion and a Charizard, there's no way we lose this thing, this battle, right? There's absolutely no way. I mean, we have Cleaver and um, uh, Zingy as well. So, we have Icy Boy and Zingy as well that are going to be super effective against Grass types. So, let's just... Let's just get into it. Let's just get into it. What's good? The name is Xavier. I train Pokemon as a profession. I'm the leader here. You here to battle? Sweet. I'll take you on whenever you're ready. I'm not as much of a pushover as I look. Plus, I have a little surprise up my sleeve. Let's get started. Oh, please don't have Mega Evolution. Please don't have Mega Evolution. I'm not going to hold back. Why do you look like a girl sprite, but you're obviously a dude? Because no girl's named Xavier. Alright. 
He's got six Pokemon. He's got a Shuckle. Okay, so maybe going Chompers here is the play. Um, <clears throat> please, he said he's got a surprise up his sleeve. Do not tell me that third gym is... Um, the third gym is Mega Evolution, man. Because I don't even have a Mega Bracelet. So please don't do that. Man, it restores the health that low? I thought it, half health? I thought it was. Uh, man, dude. Ugh. And now he's gonna heal too. Right? He's gonna heal. Alright, alright. Are you gonna heal, dude? Oh, he doesn't heal. So get rid of the shuckle. Okay, that's awesome. First Mon is down. Um. Okay. Send in B drill. I think Wisp can deal with this. I want to save Krakatoa until we absolutely have to use him. Because if he has a Mega Evolution... Oh my god, Charizard looks so dope. Yo, that looks dope. We're going to... It's Mega Beedrill. It's Mega Beedrill. Oh no. If he takes out Wisp here... Mega Beedrill. I love using Mega Beedrill. Knock off? Paralysis, paralysis, paralysis. Give me the paralysis. No. I'm sorry, little one. I'm going to go for the confuse rate just in case. But unfortunately, Wisp goes down here. <clears throat> um, I Okay, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little nervous that this thing is going to have like drill run or something like that. I'm a little nervous this thing is going to have drill run or something. Poison jab. How much is this going to do? My god, dude! But it doesn't matter. We take it out. Nice! Tentacruel. You have a... How is that a forest-themed gym, dude? How is that a forest-themed gym when you have a literal, like, squid, dude? Or a jellyfish, not a squid. What? Is there a squid Pokemon? I don't think so. I also, that was always, that's one Pokemon I don't think we have a Pokemon, or a one animal we don't have a Pokemon based off, which was a squid, right? I'm trying to think, I don't think so. Another one is a dolphin, which I always thought was super, oh, Venoshock, uh, was super weird that we did not have a, um, did not have a, a Pokemon based off a dolphin, but, uh, fun fact, uh, we're gonna go for Ice Shard, ah, damn it. Fun fact, uh, the reason we don't have a Pokemon based on a, a dolphin is because Japan has this whole kind of vendetta against dolphins. So, um, yeah, that, that's why we don't have one against, uh, on a, based on a dolphin, which is something I didn't know until, like, really recently. Because I always thought that was super weird. Um, let's go Bonesaw. I don't know if Bonesaw can take one water move, but we'll, we'll see. Um, come on, Bonesaw. Lift one. Lift one. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, do not tell me we're going to lose this to a Tentacruel. I'm not about to lose this whole gym battle to a Tentacruel. I'm just not going to. He can't do... He can't touch Choppers, though, can he? He can't really touch Choppers. Um, if I just crunch it... He's got a toxic v Venoshock, man. Oh, man. That is so much damage. Giga Drain! Dude! You have Giga Drain? We may lose this to a Tentacruel, guys. We legitimately might lose this battle because of a Tentacruel. Because I don't think I can beat Tentacruel without, uh, Zingy. I don't... I don't think we can. I legitimately don't think we can. Yeah, no, there, there's... I can't. We lose it. We lose this gym battle. We lose this gym battle. There's nothing I can do. 
There's absolutely nothing. I cannot be a toxic, venal shock, giga drain, muddy water. I, I, I just can't. It's it's literally impossible for me to beat this thing with, with the team. Um, yeah. Okay, well, GG's. I will take a different approach here and... Um, That really sucks. <clears throat> that really, really, really sucks. Okay. Well, um... Well, we know it doesn't have anything for Wisp. So... Um, I'm gonna leave with Choppers. Take out the, the Shuckle. Um, then we'll go into Krakatoa. Take out the Beedrill. And then we'll go into Wisp for the Tentacruel. Because that is our best bet. But that's kind of crazy that um, we, we just got swept by a toxic, veno-shocking, giga-draining, muddy-watering tentacruel, man. <clears throat> In a forest-themed gym, when it's a it's literally a jellyfish, man. It, that's not a forest theme. That's like the exact opposite of a forest theme. Just because you're like, oh, I use poison types as well. Grass and poison types. It does, that does not give you the right to throw it. Uh, a jellyfish into a forest, man. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have mega evolution, and I don't, so get out of here, my guy. <clears throat> I thought it'd be cool if they led with random Pokemon. Also, 6v6? 6v6 is not the best not what i wanted okay so sticky webs that's not great sticky webs also hurts quite a bit because we i can't outspeed anything with the tentacle right, so we'll be able to take this thing out <clears throat> all right 34 what's on bee drill i will switch out my pokemon well, going into Krakatoa here. <clears throat> and I think Flame Wheel should be able to take this thing out. Unless we just got a mega high roll last time. <clears throat> I'm two levels ahead. Flame Wheel should be able to take this thing out. Keyword is should. Keyword is should. Um... Poison jab, we should live this like we did last time, unless he gets a crit. Come on, just give me the win. Okay, awesome. Awesome, get out of here. So, we get the KO on the B drill, which is awesome. Big, big, big things here. About to send in Tentacruel. <clears throat> he is... Okay, now we gotta go into Wisp. And I think we, we should be able to take on this with... um. I should be able to take this on, the Tentacruel on with this, right? I mean... I'll Dragon Breath. We need Toxics. Um, how much are we doing? Just give me, let me do half. That's it. That's all we do. Well, I'm gonna Shadow Ball then and see if that does more. It does do more. How much is he doing with Venom Shock? Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, I can deal with this. I should be able to deal with this. Um, but let's see if he heals here. Oh my god. Ugh. That's disgusting, dude. Alright. Okay, he doesn't even heal up the Tentacruel. That's big, big. Alright, who's your next one? Well, unfortunately, we go down here. Um, I'm just gonna go into Zingy, I think is probably our best bet. Um, and then we'll heal up Krakato if we need to. He's only got three more mods left. Um, so he's going to go into Herkas, um, which I think we, um, heal up Krakatoa. Um, well, yeah, we'll use Super Potion. Actually, I don't want to use Super Potion because that's not going to be enough. Um, how much is fresh water? Oh, same thing. Okay, well. We'll have to give a couple to Krakatoa. 
I don't really know what we have for this thing. Brick Break is gonna K me, KO me. Um, crap. Okay, uh, well, let's just go Krakatoa. He's level 33. We should... Just let me outspeed... Just let me... It's not Guts. Okay. It's not Flame Orb Guts, so... Well. Um... Okay. That sucks! That really, 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 really sucks. Um, that like that's like really, really, really bad here. That that thing lived because we still have two more Pokemon after this. Counter. Wait. Oh, I'm faster. Um, wait, if he's just going to keep going for counter at this point because I'm slower. I mean, we don't really have a mind, I was going to say. Okay, let's growl then. Okay, let's just keep growling this thing. Okay. Um, this is our best bet. We're just going to keep growling it. Get its attack as low as physically possible oh we we found a we found <laughs> yo we found a, a strat here all right so because it's so slow i'm gonna make it so i can't do any damage so i can switch into krakatoa okay all right um now let's go Krakatoa. Unless he gets a crit, which ignores stat drops, uh, we should be okay. Okay, and then we flame him. Oh no, don't, don't do this. Don't do this. Okay. Get out of here. Awesome. So you're, you're gone. Pro gunk. Um, actually, bone saw can actually deal with you, and we still have chompers too. Chompers can also deal with with it, but um, I don't think this thing gets a super effective move for me. Gets bulk up. Wait, this should just oko. It's two levels higher, but we should just oko. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it, bro. Let's get it. Let's get it. Hell yeah. Send in Haunter. I mean, I don't think Haunter has anything for me either. Yo. Yo, Bonesaw. Bonesaw. Oh, it's got Levitate? Since when does Haunter have Levitate? Let's growl it. Okay, so... Um... Okay, so now we should be okay. We should be okay because Chompers has Crunch. We should be okay with Chompers. Has, obviously, we should be okay with Krakatoa as well. But, um... Um... Oh, and he missed. He missed the Will of the Wisps. Let's go. And Crunch should just... Oko, okay, it does. Get out of here, Xavier. You suck. You are a bad, bad gym leader. You are a bad, bad gym leader, my guy. I'm sorry. That's just... That's just how it is, man. Man, I lost. How did you like my B drill, though? That's called Mega Evolution. It's pretty impressive, right? Maybe one day you'll get to do it, too. Here's the Stinger Badge. Take this, too. A gift from me. Venoshock. Right. Not great. Venoshock is usually a pretty mediocre move. It only has 65 power. But if it's used on a Pokemon that's been poisoned, it doubles in power. I think you want to head to the gym, head out to the Helio City for your next gym. The leader there has a gym based around the sky. Good luck. Well, thank you, but uh, I actually think I'm going to leave this episode here. Um, if you guys did enjoy this, let me know by hitting that like button down below, subscribing if you guys are new. 
Um, all that good stuff. Tune in next week for the next episodes of Pokemon Insurgents. But other than that, guys, that is going to be it for me. So like I say at the end of every episode, I'm the Nitro General. I really hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. Nitro General's out. Peace.